Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And this used to be one of our city's largest malls. They tore it down and this is the new construction site. They're almost done building a brand new facility. As you can see, I'm behind the fence. Friends, this gives us so much understanding of how God works. You see, even though this building is almost done, they got they got the cement up. It's it's amazing. If you knew what this mall looked like before they came in and stripped everything. They took it all down and then they, if, I, I don't know if you can see how that part of the um, ground over there has been dug out. And friends, now, now watch this. Because this is what God does when we get serious with Him. And He begins to work in you. He will dig us out. He will go deep in us to reveal all those things in our lives that got to go that's against his his ways his his spirit his character and as he builds us up if you notice the building friends they got all of those other steel rods holding up securing the cement until they finish building this building it is being held up Follow me today, friends, because some of you are going through some heavy transition. You got to hold your position and let God hold you up by his grace. Don't panic because when God has you under construction, he knows where he's taking you. He knows what he's doing with you. The gifts, your, your anointing, the thing that he's giving you grace to do. That's what has to begin to stand up in your life as he holds us up by his arm. And, and when you and I become mature enough to rely on him for everything, we have no confidence in the flesh. We have no confidence. God will then dispatch you, release you. Not a mortal, not a man, not a woman, but God. He, 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 he will begin, friends, to let you know you got to stay close to Father. Because when this is finished, this big pile of dirt, all of this disarray, everything that we see here is going to be gone. It's going to be a beautiful landscape. The building's going to be beautiful. It's not even, it, we're not even going to remember or even think about, look at the mess down on the ground. Look at all of this. Look at that crate. It's been so much bought in to build this 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 structure but friends just a month or two ago you would not have believed that this cement structure would even be standing as it is it was a hot mess it was a hot mess come on and hear me today friends that your life might look like a hot mess but God knows what he's doing just keep your focus on living clean, pure, holy. Continue to focus on things above. It doesn't matter what anybody says about your life, friends. When God finished moving all the dirt and putting everything back where he wants it, we're going to look at you and say, wow, look at God. That's right. And you might not feel like what you're going to be and where you're headed. But friends, if you just continue to walk worthy of your confession of Jesus Christ, he is going to make the difference of your land. Because let me tell you, before they 
purchased this land, they surveyed it. They took a survey to make sure that this land would be proper, that everything that they wanted to bring up on this portion of land will stand. All the weight, all the beating of the ground, tealing the ground, digging up all this dirt, making sure that they could build. God knows, friends, where you are. And he trusts to keep building your faith on your worship, your prayer, your praise, your thanksgiving, and forgiving your enemies. Don't let your enemies stop God working in your life. The number one thing you got to watch out for is those enemies. We all have them, friends. Do not become bitter. Stay focused and let God keep building your faith. And when you and I are tested with trials and tribulation and trauma, this is how we build our faith. This is how we become more patient and able to endure because friends, we move through the trauma. Don't stay there. Keep moving in faith. God is able to bring to pass everything that has been spoken over and in your life. And when he's done, you won't look nothing like this. Because this right here is looking a hottie mess. <coughs> but let me tell you, friends, if you only knew what this site look like before they took it over and tore everything down to build it back up. God bless you, my friend, because that's exactly what our father does. The flesh has to be dealt with and he will put us through tests and trials. You will go through sufferings. You will go through so that God could get full reigns over your emotion, your desires, everything about you. He wants to have full dominion. He wants us to walk with him, to love him, no matter what. No matter who comes and who goes, we will stay the course with our Father. God bless you, my friend. I think I'm gonna do a video. When they finish this building, I'm gonna come back and show you what it's gonna look like. It's going to be beautiful. Hang in there, friends. Hang on in. Go through it. Go through. You got it. You got this thing. Lean on the Father and whatever you do, Keep an attitude of gratitude. I love you, my friend. Till next time. God bless you.